auctions often start early, and if you want dibs on the best buffalo, you have to get here, get signed up, get a good look, be ready to go. I love them, I just wish I could get one, but I don't have a trailer. The age range is vast, from the newborn to the I'm not getting any younger crowd. All here hoping to get a peek or actually make a purchase. I just messed with some years ago, and uh, 20, 30 years ago, for a friend, and uh, I was just, just interested in them. First time I ever heard that these up for sale, so I, I, I had to come. Buffalo, or bison as they are scientifically known, were living off this land long before the first settlers ever set their sights on it. But it wasn't until the 1960s, when John F. Kennedy was president, that buffalo were brought back to land between the lakes. At that time, they were developing land between the lakes as a recreation area, and they realized they existed here years ago. And so they said, well, this would be good to bring some in and let's see how they do. And they started this program uh, way back then. They wanted to bring some native wildlife and use it as an environmental education. Uh, spot. The reason some of these magnificent animals are available for bidding is because there is only so much land and they continue to breed. We'll let them get up to maybe uh, 60 animals and then we'll have an auction and we'll sell about half of them. It's just to reduce the population and the money comes back into the program to help us uh, you know, keep things going, keep them healthy. When we first found out they were going to be doing the auction again, we wondered who would be here and why would they want them? Turns out there are a lot of different reasons. Because um, they have these horns and um, and I just really, really like them because they have the fur. Start a little herd probably. I just love animals. I've got an animal farm and just a little bit of everything in it. There's this uh, series on YouTube. It's called A Guy on a Buffalo and my dad wants to be the guy on the buffalo. We come to get some bigger animals. There aren't really any stipulations on who can buy one as long as you have a way to safely haul it home. Once I start down the road, if I leave room in my trailer, they'll lay down. Those registered to bid all seem to have a game plan in place and an ideal purchase price. Those not registered are still thinking that through. How much money would you be willing to pay for a buffalo? Um, 25 or um, 100,000. And that seems like a good place to start. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's sale time. 600, I've been taking over the moon. 600, I've been taking over the moon. I've already been taking the deal's on now. 600, I've been taking over the moon. 600, I've been taking over the moon. I've already been taking the deal's on now. 600, I've been taking over the moon. 600, I've been taking over the moon. That's 7, sir. 700, I've been taking over the I sold it right here, $700. Number, buyer number 17, $700, buyer number 17. You know, calves can go for 1,000, they might go for 1,500, and a, you know, a yearling might go for 1,500 to 2,000, and then the bigger animals might go for, you know, another 500 to 1,000 more. Just depends on the demand between different bidders. 13 to half, 13 to half, 13 to half, last call, 13 to half. I sold it, 13 and a quarter. Better number two. It only takes about an hour and every bison up for bidding is bought. I had a number to buy nine, but uh, there was a lot of people interested in buying them. So yeah. I, I cut back and just bought six. Have y'all ever had buffalo before? No, no ma'am. How did y'all choose which one you wanted? Because she wanted a baby and I wanted a big one. Yeah, and when we were walking and I came up here, she just like walked up to the fence right here and just looked at me and I was like, that's the one, so I got it. And I uh, ended up buying two. <laughs> so we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> I'm hoping that the grandsons mm. will always have good supper conversation mm. with good stories and being kind to them and they can be kind to everyone in the community in return. She wrote the check, I'm, I'm very 12, excited. We bought six and they were 12,000 and change. Make no mistake, the bison are fast, powerful, and often dangerous. Even so, many of those here at the auction are already getting attached. You bought them to harvest, but Frida's trying to talk you out of it. Already, so I want to. She always tries to talk me out of it. There's two already that I want to keep, and so we'll it's to be continued whether I, I. And it's according to how their demeanor is. Yeah. When we get home, how they act. If they're wild, they'll. They'll go to the freeze. It just depends on how. Yeah. How it's according to how they act when we get them home. We got the little green one right there. That's we, yours right there? Uh-huh. 
Oh my goodness, what are you going to name it? I'd always name it Cupcake. Cupcake. Because it's a girl. Because it's a girl. What about the other one? Oh, it's Stacy's. Uh, Stacy's, what's yours going to be? It's either going to be sugar or honey. I can't decide. But the biggest decisions are already made, loaded up, and about to head home. Near Dover, Tennessee, I'm Annette Noel Hall on the Wild Side.